Hello everyone. In this session, we discussed about the open loop control system, advantages and disadvantages, and disadvantages, same as closed loop control system, advantages as well as disadvantages, and examples also we will discuss it. Okay. And every control system, open loop control system as well as closed loop control system has their own advantages as well as disadvantages. So look at here, we will look here we have open loop control system advantages. Look at here, this is the simple and economic. Why? It has just input and system and output. We are not adding any feedback, nothing. So that's why it is very simple as well as economic. And no stability problem for this open loop control system. Whenever stability problem will come in the system, whenever we require desired output, desired gain is required, the automatically the stability problem will be up. stability problem will be occur. Stability means system will operate it as stable, system never disturbed. Okay, whenever the desired output is available, automatically stability problem is possible. So these are the advantages of the open loop control system. And this open loop control system has some disadvantages. Those are inaccurate. Generally, the required output is inaccurate. For example, so for example, if you take the bike and we'll we'll start it from the home to college, but we don't know how much of time it will reach. So that that's not in that is a, that meaning of inaccurate, unrealizable. It is not having any realizable. We don't have realizable things. Next, affected by the system parameters, variation and the external noise. If any system has a parameter variation automatically, the open loop system will be completely varied, varied and it will have external noise. So if the system gets some parameter variation automatically system will be disturbed and if the system have the external noise the automatically the open loop system will be disturbed noise also affected. So general we have open loop control system examples are first traffic light controller for example how traffic light controller so look at here this example generally we have the traffic lights like this and we have four ways in general example we have the four ways but if you observe here here it doesn't depends on the it doesn't depends on the vehicles initially it will show for example 30 seconds if it has the more vehicles or less vehicles after that it will 30 after that it will 30 after that it will 30 for example this path has only low vehicles less number of vehicles again it will show same 30 it will have more vehicles 30 is not enough again it will 30 30 30 that means the fixed timing for the traffic light system fixed timing for the traffic light system this is nothing but open loop system if it is a closed loop control system what happen which path which way have the more number of vehicles that will that will get the more time which path have the less number of vehicles that will get the less time so that is the importance of the closed loop control system this is live example generally we are show that and second example electrical washing machine electrical washing machine also we have timing is fixed if you're using one set of cloths or four set of cloths or ten set of cloths the timing is fixed there is no change in the timing this is also live example of the open loop control system understand so traffic light controller and electrical electric washing machine these are the two live examples next next is closed loop control system advantages this is CLCS means closed loop control system advantages 
this is accurate and reliable so look at here example of bike so by considering the output and by taking the output by taking the feedback the input is varied and again the output is varied in this process the required output is for example 100 we have only 80 then input will know that we need to supply the more power from the input automatically it will reach the 100 that's why it is very accurate and the reliable so the reliability also very high for this closed loop control system second reduced effect of parameter variation name itself it doesn't have it doesn't affect the parameter variations so the system has some parameters if any parameter is varied that doesn't affect on the system next third point reduced effect of the non linearities so any non linearity is there that will doesn't affect or the effect is reduced due to the closed loop control system understand so these are the advantages of the closed loop control system okay first one it is accurate and reliable second one is the parameter variation third one is the non-linearities and this closed loop control system also having some disadvantages that is first is system is complex why system is complex observe here look at here the system required supporting measuring element here and also here the feedback is required for the closed loop control system whenever we have the feedback means extra circuit is requirement extra circuit for the feedback is required whenever the extra circuit is required then automatically the co complex is increases automatically cost is also increases second reduce the gain with the negative feedback so whenever if you are using the negative feedback generally feedback is two types one is positive feedback another one is the negative feedback negative feedback means we are giving the feedback with the negative and we are giving the feedback with the positive reduce the gain with this negative feedback by using this automatically gain of the system will be reduced so this is also the problem here examples first example electric iron so you know that electric iron so if you are using the electric irons so it will have some heat after that it automatically off whenever it is lost the heat then automatically on so that is the control system process that is the control system process second autopilot systems generally vehicles now the recent trends the vehicles consisting of the auto pilots so these auto pilots are auto pilots are useful and to increase the system stability okay i hope you enjoyed the session okay so these are the advantages of open loop control system and closed loop control system okay this is the construction as well as constructions and advantages and disadvantages examples. I hope you enjoyed the, this session. Thank you.